Hey, it's Clay and I'm back with another video. This is going to be the third episode of my series about uh, building this amp. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about the progress I made. So uh, the next step, since we talked last, I've kind of done a lot of work. But uh, let's talk about what's been going on. So I have been, uh, the next thing I did is I wired up this turret board. I got this from Mojo Tone. And uh, honestly, this part is relatively easy. Uh, you can find some of these layouts all over the place. You can I, some of these are 5F1, some of them are 5F2A. Honestly, the only difference is that the 5F1 only has a single volume control, whereas the 5F2A has a tone control. But the 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 board itself is exactly the same. Basically, it's kind of a paint by numbers. You just take all the components and you insert them on the board, and then you solder them together. Um, you know, with this specific board, I basically just followed it exactly like I had on the diagram. Um, so a couple things to keep in mind with this build. One is you want to get a little bit of space between these two components um, and these as well, right here. You just don't want them lying right on top of each other, just get a little bit of space in there because the resistors will get a little hot. Secondly, you want to make sure you um, get the direction of the polarized capacitors correct. So you've got one here, 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 here. Those are all the polarized caps, meaning if you look at this one, it's got a negative sign and an arrow. It's pointing towards ground. And then it's got this little ridge here. That's the positive side. So um, if you look at the schematic with a layout, I'm going to use this lever one because I think it's better. Uh, you've got this little guy. So these are these three capacitors. And then you've got this little guy right here. That's the signal for ground. So you know that for these three, the ground is on this side. So you've got your ground wire going out there. So the negative pointing to ground. Um, you just want to make sure you're a little bit thorough on your soldering joints. What I tend to do that's worked well for me is I will solder one day and then I will check it on a different day. So I just go through the, the each point go through the schematic double checking I've got the components in the right spot um, you know this Mojo Tone kit comes in this this little guy right here so all the components are clearly labeled and that makes it really easy um, but you just want to double check everything to make sure get it nice and soldered you want to make these solder joints look nice and shiny you can see um, they don't look dull or anything like that. They look nice and shiny. It's exactly what you want to see. Um, yeah, so that's that's uh, good stuff right there. And once you got the components in place, then you can move on to assembly. But um, yeah, just want to make sure you take your time, get all the components in the right spot, and get them soldered together nice and neatly.